Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kittner from 260 Heroes and we're here to talk a little bit about some new features with Camman and doing video sync. One of the things that we're going to try to solve is sometimes the audio sync does not work correctly in Kohler or Video Stitch. So as you can see as I go to play you can see we've got videos moving here and some of them staying perfectly stationary. So it's obvious that we have some sort of video sync and because this video happens to be so long, it's, it's actually around 16, 17 minutes long. So if we take a look at this, we've got a couple things that's happened. The, the video is over 5 gigs, so it's exceeded the 4 gig limit. And plus when we take a look, these are 15 minutes long. Typically the 4 gig limit is right around 11 minutes long. So when we went to merge all these together, even before we merged it, this time sync is still out. Um, and this is mainly because this was taken underwater um, and they used the GoPro cameras uh, and turned them on manually underwater when they started uh, creating the spherical video. So what we want to be able to do is we want to take our video files that are, are here and we're going to drag these video files into Adobe Premiere. So here we've got our cameras 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and we've dragged them on top of each other into the video timeline. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. After we drag them in, what we want to do is we want to line them up and we want to manually find the audio sync wave. Now there's pluralize and stuff like that that you can use, but what we're going to do is just open up each one of these timelines here. And our goal is to get these video these uh, wave files looking perfectly between each one of these uh, video streams. So to do that, um, we can actually move these videos and line them up with each one of them. See how we can kind of line this up here, line this one up here, and slowly get them to line up perfectly. And if I, I find a spike area, which is usually pretty good, which is right around in here, we're going to try to zoom in a little bit on that and get the audio right within the one time frame. So if I if I go to move this back and forth, most of most of the wave sequence here is all right in that timeline. Now I might uh, make note manually that camera three, CC03 here might be just a little bit off so I might have to push that forward or backwards manually in the the sync side so after I take this number here and change it I might have to adjust number three just to get the the um, video sync to be perfect now once I've done that I'm going to zoom this back out again I want to right click over this and change this to frames so that I have the frame count here and what we're going to do now is we're going to bring up Camman and we're going to show you a couple things that we can do in Camman. So as Camman loads, we have our main workflow tool. So this is where we're doing drive assignments and formatting the cards before copying and ingesting the data and managing the takes. And that's all in the workflow tools. What we want to do is go in the video conversion tools. Now there's a couple things that we talked about here. One of them is, is, and we'll go over another section on how to merge these GoPro files. But again, here's we've got five gigabyte files. So we're able to use this section to, to merge video files into one file. And this is, can be as big as you want. So if you've got 20, 30 minutes worth of video, we can make one great big file out of it and then we can stitch um, that entire file. Uh, in this particular project, what we're trying to do is, is determine these offset numbers. Well, it just happens to be that if you find this offset here and you translate that number to here, it doesn't work. So we've built a, a little conversion tool here that will allow you to do that. So if I move myself over here to the side a little bit, and now that I've got all of these wave files perfectly lined up, what we're going to do is zoom in on each one of these and we're going to enter the actual starting frame number um, 
on each one of these videos. So we can see that for camera number one, okay, its frame is 2518. So we're going to camera number one and type in 2518. Okay. Now we're going to go to camera number two. Let's find the audio wave where camera number two starts. We're going to put that right on the very beginning. And camera number two is at frame 3636. Then we'll find camera number three. And what's kind of nice about this frame offset, it works for the same for both video stitch and color. So what we're determining here is the same between both of these tools. And this one is 539, so camera number 3 is 539. Then we have camera number 4. And let's zoom in on camera number 4 here. This one is at 1393. And then camera number 5. Camera number five is 733. And then camera number six. Oops. Line this up here. Camera number six is on zero. Okay, now we can take these numbers in the green and we're going to enter those numbers into video stitch. So we'll slide these over here. And camera number one is 118. Camera two is zero. Camera three is 3097. Camera four is 2243. Camera five is 2903. And camera six is 3636. So now I have perfectly synced every single one of these videos together. So when I start playing, you notice that as this starts to move here, notice they're all moving together now. And this is using the video sync offset calculator. So you put in either Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro this number here for the frame start. It gives you the new offset number that you can turn around, enter into Video Stitch or Kohler to get perfect video sync. And that's how you do it with Camman version 2. Thank you.